In this work, we explore the data-driven approach to aesthetic enhancement of human faces in frontal photographs. Given an input portrait image, we identify 84 predetermined facial feature points and compute a planar set of distances between them. We collect these distances into a feature distance vector v, a vector in a high-dimensional space. The key component in our algorithm is an automatic facial attractiveness rating machine, a support vector regressor trained on databases of faces with accompanying facial attractiveness ratings collected from a group of human raters and their corresponding feature distance vectors. To enhance the attractiveness of an input image, we use our attractiveness estimating machine to find a new feature distance vector v prime with a higher attractiveness estimate. We propose two complementary techniques to achieve this. One is based on weighted k nearest neighbor search, and the other is an SVR driven optimization. To beautify the input image, we use our beauty estimating machine to find a new feature distance vector v prime with a higher beauty estimate. Once we find v prime, the corresponding facial distances are embedded in the plane and serve as a target to define a 2D warp field that maps the original facial features to their updated locations, producing our final result. To demonstrate our method, we include two interactive applications in the supplementary material, one for men and the other for women. After starting the application, the input image, its beautification result, and the 2D warp field appear in the top frame. The warp field shows the original facial features in blue and the beautified features in red along with an illustration of the actual warp. On the bottom frame, we have included many samples from our image database. The beautification is done in real time the first time you click on an image. Results for that image are cached for faster browsing. Turning on the feature splines and the distance connectivity graph better illustrates the distance feature vector, which is the input to our beautification engine. In some cases, the beautification might be too strong, producing a result that less resembles the person in the input image. Reducing the beautification percentage will tone down the changes. Sometimes it might be desirable to restrict a facial feature from being beautified. We illustrate this by keeping the original eyebrows. On this next image, we exclude the subject's lips from the beautification. Here is a sample of the results using our method.